What's up, Warrior Crew? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat, and we're doing something a little different today. So I don't know if I've ever done like a true DIY remodeling, anything like that on my channel before, but honey, we're doing it today. I am in the process of wanting to renovate like a good chunk of the house, and of course, with everything happening, we don't have like the extra amount of cash that we normally would to do everything I'd like to do, so I'm doing some of this the old fashioned way. So today we are taking the desk that Brett's parents gave us and remodeling it. We are gonna paint it, we're gonna put a new cover on it, we're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff, uh, but I thought I would film it for you guys. So we're gonna take this average looking desk. I think it's, I mean, it's a pretty nice desk, you guys, it's a good, it's good in good shape. It's got this glass top here. It's got nice dark wood, which I don't want to be dark wood. Um, but we are really like wanting to redo a lot of the house and make, oh, that, that's a bad shot, <laughs> and make it more light and airy and beachy. And like you can see, I never got to doing the woodwork in this room or anything like that. So I have a lot of projects, but this is the first one I wanted to do because I think I can do it all this weekend and then have a brand new desk. So the plan is to take the desk, paint it white, and then put marble contact paper on the top and have a white marble desk. So let's take a look-see at what we're dealing with here. Right as I get a text message, thanks mom for interrupting the video. What does she even want? Let's find out. Oh cool, okay, all right, not important. Let's see this desk. Okay, so here's the desk, here's my office in general. Get that to focus a little better, there we go. So if you guys have seen the videos with the backdrop, this is the backdrop right now, it looks like absolute garbage in here. It is a true dumpster fire in my room, but it's kind of like an L-shaped room. So this side is where I do all of the editing and such. So this is messy and awful and I hate it, and so we're gonna fix that. So this is the desk, you can see it's got this cool detailing in here. And it's got a nice glass top, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like it. I have my beautiful Mac that I paid way too much money for. And I want to put the desk against that wall instead of having it out in the middle like this. So we're also going to rearrange it. For those wondering, that's me and my grandpa over there. And... So when you come around here, we also have what Amber Scholl would call our ingredients for this project. But it has one big drawer, and I think I'm just going to... I'm not really sure how much of this I'm going to paint. I might just paint this, this piece and the piece on the back that you can see. Or I might go crazy and paint the whole thing. Either way... Um, I'm gonna clean this whole thing out. So let's look at the ingredients. Part of the reason why I wanna do this is because the only way to plug this thing in is this way. And I trip over it a lot. The cat likes to chew on that piece of tape because she's stupid. So here's what we have. I The paint is still in Brett's car and he is not here at the moment, but we have this marble contact paper that I got off Amazon for like $16. I have the wipes that I'm gonna wipe down all the woodwork with. We have paper towels and the cleaning solution I'm gonna use for the top of the desk and the inside. We have the sanding thingies. I don't know what do you call these, like sanding bricks? I don't know what they are. All purpose sanding sponge, there you go. I got a couple of these because I'm going to be doing some other woodwork, woodwork stuff in the house down the line. So I just got two of these. I got some E6000 just in case there was any like wood that I needed to like stick back down. Um, and then I got a smaller brush. I have a bigger brush downstairs that'll probably bring up. We have the little can opener. 
Oh, geez. And then we have my little handheld container and we have this little thingy that you put on the top of the paint can to pour. And I forgot I also have this um, microfiber cloth. This is for washing the woodwork to get all the sanded stuff off of it after. So today is Saturday and the goal for today is to clean off the desk and sand it and then we're gonna paint tomorrow. So hopefully I can paint like the first coat in the morning and the second coat tomorrow night. And then um, I'm hoping two coats will do it. I'm trying to think of how, cause I got like, it's paint and primer and it's how I did all the woodwork, but this is significantly darker than the woodwork in the house. We just have like the, you know, 1985 oak woodwork. Um, so we'll see, it might need three coats instead of two. I think I did two or three on the cabinetry in the house and the woodwork in general. And then once all the painting is done, we'll go back in and we will put this contact paper in. This is what I'm really excited about. I've never worked with contact paper before and I've seen lots and lots of videos and lots of people do it. So this is gonna, I'm gonna have to watch some more videos to make sure I do the corners right. But, um, so the first thing we need to do is take everything off and out of the desk and then we can start cleaning and then we can start sanding and I might end up wanting to do the first coat of paint tonight and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna prop you up and we will start the time lapse. Okay, you guys, so it has just occurred to me, um, because I have two college degrees, that <laughs> there is no point in me really cleaning the woodwork before I sand the crap out of it. Like, I don't see the point in, like, cleaning to then make more mess. So I did clean the inside, as you saw. It had so much makeup and it was gross. Um, but I am gonna start sanding now. And I think, I forgot that this top comes off. It's like suctioned on there. So I can have Brett take it off for me maybe. I don't know, it's really heavy. I don't know if I can do it by myself. Um, but that's how I think I'm gonna be able to get the edges at the bottom painted. I'm gonna have to turn it on its side. And I think that would be easier if the top is off. I also think that if I can take the top off and turn it the other direction, then I can more easily get the edges done with uh, the contact paper. So this is gonna be some trial and error, but with how fast this is going so far, I will probably do the first coat of paint maybe tonight. It is almost two o'clock, so I'm going to go back to my audiobook. I'm listening to Idiot, if it wants to focus. It doesn't want to focus, but Idiot by uh, Laura Clary. It's really funny. Um, I'm also listening to City of Bones, which is what um, the TV show Shadowhunters is based off of. I started, I read like the first two books, and then I watched all the show, and then they canceled the show, and so now I'm listening to all the books again. But uh, my, <laughs> what, what am I trying to say here? Um, I'm using a library app, so my, um, I'm, I'm due to return my book, Idiot, soon. So I need to finish listening to it. And of course, I'm only an hour into seven hours. So, Rory is in her little bed over there. I'm going to see if I can tinker with taking the top of this thing off, but I don't think I can do it by myself. So I'm just going to start sanding, and uh, we'll see where we get. Okay, I'm gonna be able to do this whole thing by myself, <laughs> no problem. And if I did wanna paint the drawer, this would be how I do it. 
So um, it is like a soft closed drawer, which is nice. Um, so, but now you can really see the whole desk and I think that'll make it easier to do like the edges on the top of it. So, okay, I'm gonna do some more cleaning and we're gonna start sanding and time lapse now. Okay, so here is where we're at. It is clean. That took a lot more wipes than I thought and my hands are starting to prune. So, um, it has also occurred to me that Brett has yet to return home and I do not have the paint. So we can't paint until he gets back. So I am going to watch some more videos on YouTube about um, how to do the contact paper and then possibly measure it out and maybe start doing that. Little bit nervous about that. Um, I know I need a credit card to kind of smooth things out, but I think I had like some old expired ones in one of my drawers. So I'm gonna do some research and then uh, maybe we'll get that moving faster than I had anticipated. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do was cut this all out, measure it all out, and get it all figured out. <laughs> Let me say out a couple more times. So this is my entire roll. This is all of it. So I got a roll that I think was 16 inches by 10 feet. I just spit all over my camera. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so what I did was after watching some videos I left like a couple inches on the edge and then a couple inches on this edge and then I did the same thing over here and Brett is calling me back and I swear to god <laughs> okay so now that Brett is done talking my ear off we're gonna get back to this so it it ended up being the exact amount I needed um so this is all the contact paper I have so if I screw this up so um, I have scissors, I have my old Victoria's Secret credit card, <laughs> I have a blow dryer, which seems to be like the thing. So what I'm going to do is take the backing off of this, like up to a certain point, and then start laying it down. And then at the, when I'm done laying the first layer down, I'm going to go back with this and smooth out all the edges and everything and then or smooth out the bumps. Then take the blow dryer to heat up the edge of the vinyl um, and wrap it around the corner. So, um, and if one side looks better than the other side, that will determine which side is facing out. That's just how I'm gonna do it. So, um, say a prayer that <laughs> this works. Um, if it doesn't work, I mean, I spent $16 on it. It's not that big of a deal, but like, I want it to work. Okay, so this is how the girl did it on her video that I watched. So she took the few fir first few inches. She was doing hers flat and not going over the edge. I watched a different video for that. So, um, she peeled off the first few inches, then flipped it over, and then you can peel from the underside. This is luckily rolling and not sticking to itself. So I'm going to try to cross my fingers, and I think I'm going to move the whole piece of glass over so that I have it all the way on the edge over there. And, oh my god, I keep saying, let's do this, and I'm like so nervous to do this. Um, I actually, before I like fully do this again, I think I might wipe it off one more time because I'm seeing some dust just in the hour that this has been done. So I'm going to dust it one more time really quick, move it, and then we'll be back to try this. Okay, we're ready to go. I hit it with the microfiber cloth and you're pro you might be able to see some marks. This is a solid piece of glass that's painted on the bottom. Can you see that right there? Yep, you can see that. And it's just painted black on the bottom. So as I've been moving it, I have been scratching the black paint off. So either way, I was going to have to paint this or do something. So, okay. I'm trying to find 
the best angle for you guys. But, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so, got my piece. I'm so freaking nervous, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay, um, all right, now I need to make sure there is enough on the underside to wrap it and that it's even. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and, oh, okay, so because the table is black, I can see, oh my hair, <laughs> I can see through There we go. I can see through the... Nope. Okay. Good to know if you stick it down initially and that's not where you want it, it's okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, I've got like two inches this way, two inches this way. Whoo! Okay, so... Since this, what I was trying to say is since this thing is black, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, you can definitely see that. This is where the paper is, and this is where it's down directly onto the, the glass. But I think it's still going to look nice. And if I end up hating it down the road, I can always, like, I guess paint it or something. And then I could go back and paint under the bottom of this, and it would fix it probably. But I'd have to strip all this black paint off. And I don't think I care that much. So let's start peeling the back of this off and getting it stuck down. Okay, girl, we did it. <laughs> we have the first layer halfway on, in my opinion, halfway on. I am going to pull out the blow dryer now. I'm also gonna put the blow dryer on the top to really like heat up the sticky on here and really get this stuck. There are a couple of bubbles. The bubbles seem to come out when you like hold your finger down on them for a hot minute, but I am going to really heat them up with the blow dryer. I think that will help. And I just realized there's a plug back there. I wasn't sure if there was two things plugged into that or not. So uh, we're gonna blow dry this sucker and uh, see what we can get done. Okay, so my camera's having a little trouble focusing, but here's how this corner kind of turned out. So you can see kind of underneath here, I did end up making like a little patch, cutting it in half and doing it that way. There we go, I was guess I was just holding it too close. But so I, it in my opinion looks like crap, but um, I'm gonna go around the edge and try to get the other one done um, and hopefully it will look better. So, uh, I don't know. All in all, I think it looks okay so far, though. Alright, we're halfway through this insane saga that has become more complicated than I thought. Um, if I use the... You're not gonna be able to see it. Great. If I use the blow dryer, this edge starts to wrinkle. So I didn't, and I think it looks better. This edge looks worse than the other one, so I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt and try to do better on this next one. So... Time to wrap the other side. Okay, it's done. <laughs> just, 
I'm really over it, like, to be totally honest. I feel like a lot of these videos are like, and then you just put it on, and it's perfect, and like, yay, it's done, ta-da, you can do it yourself, and it's easy. It's like, you know what, if I only had one layer to do, like, yeah, this layer is perfect. Uh, the corners on this, or this side are better, but I cannot get those bubbles out. But, like, when you're sitting, if, like, okay, you can see me because of that light, but... I really don't think it looks that bad and I'm over it so this is the top tomorrow we're gonna tackle painting and I will catch up with you then all right you guys it is nine o'clock on Saturday night and we are ready to paint we're turning idiot back on let's get this base coat done So it is Sunday. My camera died in the middle of filming me doing the base coat on this. It turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I might end up doing three coats. Did have some drippage, but it's the inside of the drawer and I don't really care. So, and then that of course is all the paint. I just covered it with the trash bag. So, uh, time to do the second coat. Let's go! Okay, so second coat is done. I'm almost wondering if I need four coats on this sucker. Um, but I think it already looks significantly better and it took me about 40 minutes to get the second coat on. Maybe a little bit less, maybe like 35 minutes. But for some reason it felt like it went way faster than the first coat. So... I don't know, I think I might do like three coats on the parts that are super visible and then like four coats on the other stuff. So I'd only do like three coats here and three coats here, but four coats like everywhere else. Like I might just do three coats on like this inside piece that you can't really see that I just colored so that it looks right. So, and you can see there's like a couple of drips. So I'm gonna go back, fix the drips and it is 12.45, so I'm gonna come back in a few hours, see if it's dry, and see about putting another Just coat on. Just did the third coat. Also, I'm not wearing pants, so. <laughs> Anybody else painting their underwear? Just me? Okay. So, uh, third coat's on. I thought I was gonna do four coats. I don't know, I'm gonna see how this looks when it dries and I might just call it. So. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Brett, he just brought home a pizza, he's so excited. It was a free pizza, so. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I will catch up with you in a little bit. So either you, you will be seeing me do the fourth coat or I will put the whole thing back together. Can you hear him talking to the dog? Oh my God. <laughs> but uh, either way, there you go. Okay, you guys, are you ready for the final reveal? I decided to do just the three coats. I just put the whole thing together. Ready? Ta-da! I'm so excited about this. So it is by no means perfect. You can see the seam. The corners don't look particularly spectacular, but I'm really, really happy with it. And for one weekend of work, I think it looks really great. Um, I have a lot of work to do on this room, as you can see so very clearly. Um, but this was the first weekend project of many shout out to our amazing photographer who did our engagement shoot two years ago but um yeah so let me know what you guys think I should do to this room I am going to be painting the woodwork and the walls and everything and maybe a gallery wall over here but let me know what you think I should do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one love you warrior crew bye